Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video, I'm going to bring you guys a follow-up video to the video that I posted a couple of days ago, which was me testing out the effect for my upcoming short film, iPhone Time Machine. So in this video, basically what I was doing was testing out the time travel effect, trying to see if I could do it and see if it looked any good. I think it looked pretty good. I was actually looking at you guys' feedback down here, so I'd like to say thank you for all of the people who provided feedback on there. It seems like the only thing I have to work on is the sound effects, because the sound effects don't work, so I will take that into consideration but in this video I said that I would give you guys a tutorial on how exactly I did the effect and so I thought I would follow up with that and actually bring you guys a tutorial for once so let's go ahead and show you guys the effect that we're gonna be doing so this is what we're gonna be doing do that So basically what you want to do is just uh, do that but minus the sound effect because remember this is still a work in progress so here we are in Final Cut Pro. This is what I use to make that effect. This is my editing software of choice at the moment. For those of you guys wondering, this is Final Cut Pro 7. And uh, I believe you can do the same thing on Final Cut Pro 10 or any other editing software. So just uh, bear in mind that Final Cut Pro 7 is what I'm going to be using. So here we have my timeline. As you can see here, I have my main video over here. And then here is where I have all of my effects. And I think I just did something. As you can see here, I have the main video, I have a backdrop, and then I have an actual effect. So, I have my main video split up into two parts. This part right here is um, the actual clip of me doing whatever it is I'm supposed to be doing, so let me just show you that. And it's going kind of slow right there. And then above me here, I actually have the effect that's going to be playing through. And that effect is actually the uh, just stock overlay footage that I used for the time warp effect. I can't really remember where I found the link to that, but I think I downloaded it off of videohive.net. So just uh, feel free to go ahead and check out that and look for something like this. And then the final footage I have down here is just the same exact background that I had before with nothing going on in it. And so remember, if you're using a camera like mine, which is a DSLR camera, you want to have the background in the same amount of focus as the foreground was. So between the foreground with me actually in it and then the background shot, I actually had no focal adjustments. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got right here. So as you can see here, if I go back to the main clip of me and we go to motion, as you can see, if I just uh, extend this window out here, I used a couple of keyframes and I added in a motion blur. So that was basically uh, the basic motion of this. So what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to try and duplicate the effect that I have done in this video. So let's go all the way to the end here and I'm going to find some clips of myself. So we're going to find this clip of me right here. And let's see where I used my phone. And I'm going to mute this for the time being. So where is my phone? Right around here sounds okay. good, so let's set in the endpoints. Set in, do that. And set out the out points. Oops. The out points. So now if we take and drag this in, now that we've set our endpoint and out points, it'll just drag in that portion of the video. So let's drag that over here. Now I'm gonna grab in my background shot. Oops, oops. This is my background shot. I'm just gonna grab that in there too. And I'm going to lock it and delete the audio tracks because we're not going to need the audio for that. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the position in which I want the effect to take place. So I want it to take place like right around here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and split the clip. And then this is where it's going to start. And I am going to have to make myself zoom in and zoom out. So I'm going to drag the video clip up here and then I'm just going to layer over our background for the portion of this. And now what I'm going to do is drag in our actual effect, which is this right here, which is the magic background, which is going to be my time warp. So we're going to drag that in and whoops, we're going to drag that in, align that up. And so I wanted to start playing right around here and maybe end like right around there. So let's, let's do that. If we double click on it, it will start around there and right around there sounds about good but as you can see here when I play it back it just plays back with that solid black backdrop which is the actual effect that the video had before but as you notice if we go over here it is overlaid over me so how do we do that you guys ask well it's actually a lot simpler than you guys would think what you guys would think to do is be to chroma key out the black right 
Well, no, since it's black, all we need to do is change the blending mode to screen. If you guys are familiar with Photoshop, then you guys all know what I'm talking about. So what you want to do is right click on the clip, and then we want to go to item, oh, hold on, I'm going to go to composite mode, sorry, and then choose screen. And then as you notice, if we go over here, it will be over me in the background. However, we need to render, so let's just go ahead and render that quickly. And so now let's see how it works out. So we go over, it goes like this and maybe a little bit longer it needs to be rendered again. And so that's good. So right around here is where I'm going to start my zooming out or motion blurring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to motion and we're going to, whoops, let's go to motion and extend motion. And right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to scale. I'm going to set in a keyframe and then we're going to go over a couple more frames and we're going to just go in all of the way and we're going to add in a motion blur and then right where we are right here as you can see here we want to start fading out so I want to go like right around here and we're gonna go ahead and click on this little button right over here which is the let me just go over the toggle clips overlay button and then once that's done you want to grab the pen tool and we're basically going to make adjustments to the opacity. So if you click the top line with the pen tool, it'll create a keyframe. And then you click the top line again, it'll create another little point and you can drag them down and that will lower the opacity. So once you do all of that with the keyframes up here, the opacity down here and the motion blur, you wanna render your clip. Okay, so now let's go ahead and play it back and see if we actually did that right. Go ahead and do that. As you can see, that actually looked a lot like the effect that I did before. It went ahead and glowed for a few seconds, and then I zoomed in really, really fast. And at the same time that I was zooming in with these keyframes up here, the opacity of the clip was dropping, and that's how we made the effect. And all you need to do to make it look like you're reappearing in a different position is basically do the exact same thing, but in reverse. And then there you go, you have a time warp effect. So that's how you do it, guys. That's a really simple and easy way to do it. I actually thought this was going to be a lot more complicated effect than it actually was. But hey, you learn something new every day. And so I really accept, I really love the feedback that you guys are giving me on this. I'm really grateful for it and I appreciate it. And uh, I will continue to fix the sound effect problem as, it, as this video is still a work in progress. I'm starting to forget what I'm saying right now. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any suggestions for more tutorials you want to see in the future, leave them in the comments section below. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.